employees didn't want to go on camera but say that everyone was okay. This happened just a few nights ago. It was an out of control customer whose actions were being videotaped. And while the incident is upsetting, I can tell you that violent crime in this part of the valley is trending down. A lot of people working very hard to keep downtown safe. The video is now making its way around social media. A woman hurling insults at employees at Taqueria Casa del Sabor at Las Vegas Boulevard in Bonanza. One worker covered in salsa as it's thrown across the counter. It happened earlier this week. An incident Jonathan Alvarez with Protective Force International. We don't want that in our city. Calls beyond frustrating. We don't want anybody to act like that. For more than five years, Alvarez and his team have been partnering with downtown businesses and residential properties, a private company offering a unique service. We can essentially take on a lot of the nuisance calls, non-emergency and quality of life issues that are kind of plaguing some areas um, and let law enforcement be law enforcement and catch the bad guys and do all the cool stuff. Unfortunately, we can't have you loitering over here. Protective Force now manages roughly 500 properties in the Valley. Last year alone, responding to more than 200,000 calls. This area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded. They even have a system of cameras tied to a control room at their downtown headquarters. And Alvarez believes his team is making a difference. We have a multiple um, marked uh, units driving around, answering calls, being visible, patrolling. And our goal is that this, this area of downtown uh, continues to flourish as not only an arts district, but also a tourist uh, destination. So we want businesses to come. We want the economy and crime to be a little bit less. And so we can encourage more tourism here and grow our economy. And according to Metro Police statistics, Crime in downtown has fallen in several significant categories, including robbery, burglary, and auto theft, although aggravated assault is up about 10% from this time last year. As for Casa del Sabor, it's not the first time trouble has broken out at the food truck. In March of 2023, one man was arrested after a brawl in the parking lot. Alvarez says while it may be impossible to prevent every case of bad behavior, his team will continue to do its part. We work hand in hand with the community to make sure that it, it, it stays safe and it continues to grow. Now, employees with protective force are academy trained. They are fully vetted. Again, they are not police officers and they're not trying to be police officers. What they are is a force multiplier when it comes to providing a safe and secure community. Reporting live in downtown Las Vegas, Denise Roche, News 3.